I'm actually named after a cologne. So I guess at that time, my mom, uh, she must have really liked that. <laughs> we first started out training and then, um, you know, you train you train with somebody and be around them so much, you know, you start uh, getting those feelings and, and, and that's how that happened. We do, but I try to stay away because uh, like even yesterday, we were sparring a little bit. And like, oh, you're hitting me too hard. I'm like, Girl, you just threw your whole body weight into me and like, you're trying to knock me out. So I, I just try to stay away from that because I, I don't want any arguments, so. She's so amazing. Uh, I'm glad to have her on my team because, yeah, like, like she understands uh, all the, the problems that we go through. So what she tries to do, she tries to make everything uh, as easy as possible for, possible for me uh, as a, like helping me, uh, you know, meal prep. Um, you know, just, just making sure I'm taken care of. Uh, I'm fighting Benil Dariush, um, March 7th in uh, Vegas. Yeah, we're supposed to fight in July um, out in Sacramento, but uh, I guess he had, got, he had uh, broke his toes or something um, that week right before the fight. His game plan, you know, like if, if you watch my fights, I always, you know, I give up stupid takedowns. I do stupid, uh, when I get in a moment and I give up stupid positions. Um, you know, his game plan is going to be getting there and get me to the ground because, you know, that's I do that in every fight. So, uh, you know, at this camp, I've been focusing a lot more on my wrestling. And it, actually, it's a lot easier training camp because he's a one trick pony. Um, you know, just work on my wrestling, make sure uh, if he does take me down, I do the right uh, positions to get back up. Um, but I, I see I see myself knocking him out. You know, he he's really slow. Um, I'm a lot faster, I'm better looking. Um, I, I'm gonna beat them everywhere. I've been seeing a, a sports psychologist and you know, uh, we've been talking about that. I need uh, Benil, you know what I mean? To make me better. Um, I can't go into a fight thinking of it as a war. I gotta think of a partnership and um, you know, just try not to use anger as much and just as more as a, a partnership. And when I get angry, I start to think too much and, um, you know, go too fast instead of just being calm, slowing things down. Because when, when I'm always trying to look for a knock, knock, knockout, I'm not going to get it, you know. And if I just slow everything down, get that finish. Uh, I was born in Kalamazoo, Michigan, but I was raised in a, a just a, a small town. Uh, it's like 30 minutes away, um, South Haven, Michigan. But uh, growing up there, uh, um, it's, I think the population's like 2,000. Um, you know, it, it was it was rough. You know, uh, you know, if you have too much time on your hands, you you know, you tend to get in get in trouble. And uh, you know, I was a trouble kid. Uh, I'm glad I found wrestling. And, you know, uh, kind of stuck with the right crowd. Uh, you know, one thing my dad always told me is, uh, leave Michigan. You know, and you know, and your friends are still going to be there when you come back. And, um, you know, and, and that was true. When I do go back, people are still doing the same thing there. It's funny because uh, when I go back, they think I made it. And I'm like, man, I'm I'm still trying to pay my bills like y'all. <laughs> Benson was st is still like the top, you know, um, you know, just his cardio and his knowledge of the fight game. Um, you know, so Benson's probably the, the toughest guy I've trained with. It kind of sucks, man, uh, the whole falling out. Um, it wasn't with it wasn't with the with him, but it was it was just uh, John Crouch. You know what I mean? Um, you know, um, you know he talked so much shit on on guys, and you know, and I, I just I just had to get away from that. Um, I still love all all my old training partners. You know, they're still my brothers. They still come over and watch the fights. I'm gonna have the fights this weekend, so hopefully, you know, a lot of those guys come over and watch them. So. I like the people that are like real, man. I, I don't like the, all these fighters that are putting on shows. Like, like I, I used to like, I really used to like Masvidal, but now he's doing it more of like, you know, talk and doing all that. Um, but you know, sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to, It's at the end of the day, it's a business. And uh, and that's what I talked to Sean Shelby about. You know what I mean? He's like this, you have to sell tickets, you know? And um, so, you know, props to them, you know, but th that's not the route I really want to take. You know, I just want to go out there and perform and and be raw, and be raw and be me and let people see the real me. I'm actually uh, shooting a, a series right now, um, you know, all leading up to the fight. So it's called uh, the, 
the close route to victory. Uh, like the, our backstories, you know what I mean? Uh, we're not John Jones. We're not, you know, these top fighters, you know. Um, you know, th we do have like problems uh, like, just like everyone else. And just to get, get my story out there and, and just let, let people see the real me. Tune in March 7th. Uh, follow me at Ricard Close. Um, I'm making a, a series if they just want to follow the, the, the close route to victory. Um, my YouTube channels, make sure they subscribe. Uh, and I want to appreciate you, uh, you know, taking your time out and uh, giving me this interview.